You might think that mosquito's most delicious food is human blood. But Amy Junila, a postdoctoral student at the Hebrew University of Jerusalem, says that's a common misconception. Amy works with Professor Yosef Schlein at the Kuvin Center for the Study of Infectious and Tropical Diseases at Imrik at the Faculty of Medicine. Everybody thinks that a mosquito is eating, you know, blood, but that's only the females. Female mosquitoes use the blood to help them produce eggs, but both male and female mosquitoes actually use sugar to get their energy for daily activities. Just what exactly the mosquitoes are eating to get that sugar is the topic of Amy's research. Amy does some clever detective work to discover what the mosquito likes to eat. If you think of it, a mosquito is so tiny, and then if you think that you have to go in and extract his gut and find out what he's eating, so once you're at that point, there's not very much material left. You know, using a forensic DNA approach like that is a good way to find out what he was eating. Amy dissects the mosquito's stomach to determine its last meal. There's a few things that we found. There's different flowering trees and bushes. We also discovered that they like to eat fruit. They like seed pods. Mosquitoes have a favorite plant out in the wild. Those are the plants that we want to use for control. Figuring out a way to control or reduce the mosquito population is a major goal. Mosquitoes are responsible for transmitting malaria and other deadly diseases. In 2008, there were 247 million cases of malaria and nearly 1 million deaths, mostly among children living in Africa. So Professor Schlein and Dr. Gunther Muller, also from the Kuvin Center, wondered if they could use what they knew about mosquitoes' favorite foods in order to control mosquito populations. So it's a, a clever idea. Poison their food source and then you can get rid of your mosquitoes. The first experiments took place in Israel, where the researchers found that mosquitoes were attracted to flowering acacia trees. There were trees, flowering trees, that are extremely attractive. And uh, we sprayed sugar solution with the toxin on the trees. The results were dramatic. The mosquitoes in the experimental place were eliminated. They dropped down to, uh, by 90 5%. Next, they moved their experiments to the country of Mali in northern Africa. They sprayed the solution near the ponds and rice paddies where mosquitoes like to breed. The decline of the population was again very dramatic. We ended up close to 80%, 85% reduction in the number of females. If you can eliminate the natural population of mosquitoes, that's the best approach. And we were lucky in this respect. It's really cheap and basically very simple. While this was just a pilot experiment, Amy remains optimistic. So we're really at the stage now where we need to see if we're going to be able to use the things that we learned in Israel, be able to apply that in Africa, really make a difference to the control methods.